Hello, my name is Jason Chonko and I'm the Applications Marketing Manager at Siglent Technologies North America. In today's video, we're going to look at the latest firmware release for the SDS-1004 X-E series of oscilloscopes. The SDS-1004 XEs are the four channel analog versions of the 100 and 200 megahertz bandwidth models. And here we are at Siglent America's webpage. We're just gonna check out the latest firmware rev. We can hit resources and click on firmware and software that's going to open up this page and we can go view the release notes and we can also take a look at the different firmware revisions in this case we're looking at the latest revision here which was dated uh, the 20 or the 26th of September 2018 and that firmware revision is 6.1.26 the firmware release notes will show that we added some gated measurement features uh, we can also save a decoded list as CSV. That will help those of you that are doing serial decoding. Uh, they've modified the color of the FFT labeling uh, to show the, that which trace it's attached to, which color uh, trace is attached to. So the labeling matches the trace that you've selected for that data. Um, probably the, the coolest feature here is going to be that created a new software that converts binary waveform data to CSV. So that's what I wanted to talk a little bit more about. But briefly, I did want to say we are listening to our customers. You know, uh, Siglin is an extremely responsive company, and most of the firmware revisions that we have here, most of the additions to the firmware are actually enhancements or added features for the product. So the, uh, the 4-channel X-E oscilloscope continues to, uh, to be uh, added to and, and continues to become a, a more useful tool for everyone out there. Um, so over to the uh, device under test here. I have previously connected a, an oscilloscope, a four channel XE, to, the, uh, to a local area network. I've typed in the IP address here and we've brought up the actual control panel. I'll just show you how that works briefly. So just go back arrow to the welcome page, type in the IP address up here, uh, hit enter and we come up with the home screen here. We're going to see the latest software revision. Uh, we can hit instrument control. That's going to open up here. We can now click on this panel and open up the buttons. And previously, nothing, nothing too uh, new here if you've seen the other videos about the web control on the 4-channel X-E. But what you will notice is now we've got a binary to CSV tool here. So we can download that from the instrument itself. That's going to download a zip file that has an executable in it. And this executable can now take waveform save files, the, the, any files that we've saved here, uh, this .bin, that's a binary file. Uh, binary is nice because it's a small form and it can be transferred very quickly. The disadvantage of binary is that we really, as humans, we can't read the binary data and we can't really do much with it. Since we want to see the data, this tool, this binary to CSV tool, makes it very easy for us to download information very quickly from anywhere we want in the world. Again, it's over LAN, so wherever we have a browser, we can pull that data directly to that browser or that PC running the browser or that laptop, and then we can pull that CSV tool on and run that. Uh, run that CSV tool, that's going to convert the binary over to CSV data. Here I'm just going to open up a file that I had previously saved. We'll take a look at that binary data and show you that there is not much to actually look at. But now we can open up the CSV data after converting. So we've run that binary to CSV tool and just take a second. And, and now you can see that we've got uh, actually a very large recorded file here. Microsoft Excel is not going to be able to open up the full 14 million points. It can only go up to a million. But we've got the record length, the sample rate, the vertical channel offset, and horizontal scaling. And now we've got seconds versus volts, and we can manipulate that data as we see fit.